Okay, so we're just going to look at how to submit time, look at timesheets, check job information on Work for Max Mobile. So I've logged in here. I am on my computer, but we'll pretend I'm on uh, a phone or um, smartphone or something like that. Um, so I've already logged in. To log in, you just go to m, m for mobile, m.workflowmax.com. Um, log in with your usual username and password, um, and then you'll see a screen that looks very similar to this. So hours tracked today, yesterday, this week. Um, job information down here as well, an overview, and some date ranges if you have any dates set in the system. So at any point I can go to jobs. Depending on your access level, you might be able to see all jobs or just your own jobs. Um, and if I look at my jobs, then I can go in and for any particular job, I can see all the information including uh, custom fields, tasks against the job, who's been scheduled on the job, and more information as well. And one of the most important things in options, I can edit the job and I can change the state. Um, you may have different states to this, but you can change the state. So for example, if you're on site, book your time and everything's done, you can then go into the job and change it to completed or ready to invoice or whatever it is. So if I go enter time, uh, defaults to today and I can go back if I need to go back up to a week. Um, put the job code in that you're gonna be tracking to and then the tasks will come through that you can track time to. So in this case, I've just got the one which is design. Um, pick the amount of time. So here I'm going to track four hours um, and some notes. So the notes are really important because they can fill through to timesheets. They can fill through to invoices. Um, they're really good, especially if you've got multiple um, sites that you go to or if you've got multiple things to do on a job just to see what was done when. So if I save that back now, I get a little confirmation at the top, time added, added successfully, and I can go back to and put some more time in if I want to. So if I did a, another job, um, this one's got a few tasks to pick from, then I can put some more time on here and save this as well. Um, the last little thing that you can then do at the end of the week is I can go into timesheets. So timesheets again will show me the last seven days. So here I can see my total amount of hours which I can use to fill out a payroll timesheet or similar. Um, and if I want to, I can go into any particular job, see the exact job and task that I did and the notes of what I did as well. Um, the last thing you can do is obviously log out if you need to log out, but you don't particularly need to do this um, if you're just using it on your own device.